What's up guys, it's Chase here. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with some questions that I've compiled. I call these, do I got us or do I have to's? So, so many people ask me, oh man, I'm trying to reach these 50 goals, but do I have to blank? So we got 15 on here. Let's go down this list of questions we've compiled here with people at the office at Google search and from my experience with clients. First up, do I have to give up coffee creamer? Would I prefer you give it up? Absolutely. But I think so many people go, oh, I stopped putting creamer in my coffee. I know coffee equals sanity for a lot of people. Think about it like this. Your coffee creamer is probably a few calories at most. We're talking this much creamer, right? It can cut a few calories, but is that gonna be the thing that makes or break your weight loss journey? Probably not. If you need it, keep it. I don't promote it, but again, like I said, it's not gonna be something that has substantial difference. You do not need to give it up. Do I have to give up chocolate? Ooh, that's a tricky one. I know my mom, she's ripped, no joke, but she loves her chocolate. The key is to pick the right ones. Chocolate inherently is actually pretty good for you. Cacao powder is good for you. What do you wanna look for when you're doing chocolate, when you're trying to get rid of that sweet tooth? Include it, but you wanna go 70% cacao or more. So you're looking for dark chocolates, 70% or more is what you're gonna look for on the label. That way you can keep your chocolate. If it's a little bitter for you to start, mix it in the shakes, do things other like that. I like to keep it cold. I think that you'll find your taste buds will change. Keep your chocolate, just choose a better one. Okay, do I have to do cardio? You do not have to do cardio. I promote it because it's good for your heart. But if your goal is weight loss or to look better, you do not have to do cardio. You can lift in a fashion, you can do supersets, you can work out in any other way, you do not have to do cardio. Also, remember, cardio does not just mean a treadmill or elliptical or running miles or doing bleachers. It can be anything that's fun. Basketball is cardio. Running around with your kids is cardio. Beach volleyball is cardio. Do something that gets you active that in your head isn't just death or torture, right? So you don't have to do cardio, but I promote it. And remember, cardio can be fun. Find something you like to do. I don't care if it's Pokemon Go and you're running around after Invisible Charizards, that's cardio in my book. Do I have to give up carbs? Absolutely not. I promise you your favorite athlete, your favorite model, they are eating carbs nine out of 10. They might have a specified diet, but you do not need to give up carbs to reach your fitness goal. Budget them in, they are your body's favorite source of energy. Use them to fuel yourself. They are your gas tank. You do not need to give up carbs. Do I have to stop eating at 7 p.m.? If I hear this one more time, my head is going to explode. The time on the clock, your biological, mindset it has nothing it doesn't know what time it is that is man's construct okay so ask yourself this question right let's say you think you can eat until 7 p.m without it effect all of a sudden 7 p.m magically food affects your body different if you flew to the west coast today and then it was four o'clock right there's three hours behind would your body magically have three extra hours to eat no because your body does not conform to the hours on the clock that we have made up that's a man-made thing do i have to eat six times a day no what you need to do is think about the total food you're taking in total amount and where that food is coming from and if you do that throughout six meals three meals two meals four meals and two snacks however you do that that's what you want to focus on not how many times you're eating a day but i will tell you to get to those healthy intake levels you probably have to eat a few times just to make it feasible, right? Do I have to know how to cook? I don't know how to cook. You do not know how to know how to cook, but you need to know basics, right? You need to be willing to explore and try things you're not good at. The only way you will never know how to cook is to never cook. Start trying recipes, right? Chef Back Kitchen has tons of recipes for you guys to check out. You can see them, you can try them step by step. I mean, Google is the mother load of recipes. Just know how to physically cook it, right? Just cook it till done. You don't have to be a great chef, you don't have to do a recipe, and then grab some condiments that you like. Throw the condiment on top, shake it up, sauce it up. There's tons of condiments like low sugar barbecue sauce or no sugar barbecue sauce, um, chimichurri, green salsas, tons of hot sauces. Tons of ways you can make stuff tasty without knowing how to cook. You don't have to be a master in the kitchen. Do I have to work out every day? Well, if you haven't figured out the theme of this video, at least so far, is no. You do not have to work out every day. In fact, working out every day in the sense of strength training or something very strenuous and tense probably is gonna set you backwards. Most of your change doesn't happen in the gym. It happens in your recovery period. If you're working out too many times, you are gonna put your body under too much stress and it's not gonna give you the desired result. But how many times you need to work out? 
four to five times a week. That's all you really need. Give your body time to recover. Do I have to drink protein powder? I just made a video about supplements. You can go onto the YouTube page, find that supplement video, and it talks about bridging the gap. You do not need to drink protein powder or take any supplements, but if you are not getting what you desire in your whole food diet, then take that supplement to bridge the gap. Do I have to give a happy hour? I get that question all the time. Go to happy hour. The number one thing I think when it comes to alcohol is you cannot allow it to be a gateway drug. Now, I'm not talking about doing other drugs. I'm talking about alcohol being a gateway to bad decisions. Is two or 300 calories from those three drinks really gonna mess you up that bad? Probably not. You can also start by making better choices, right? A vodka soda is gonna be better than a uh, rum and coke. But really what I'm trying to get at is do not let a few drinks at happy hour mean you go home and skip your gym workout. Do not let a few drinks at happy hour mean you stay at that restaurant and eat crap instead of eating your meal prep. Do not let a few drinks at happy hour lead to you having a poor morning where you slept through your alarm and don't wake up. Do I need to meal prep? Long and behold, we finally have a yes. Now, I want you to realize that meal prep doesn't have to be those things you see with the fitness influencer like this with 17 meals prepped, okay? Meal prep just means any type of preparation. Buying some pre-packaged things of almonds to take as your snacks, that's meal prep. Buying some beef jerky at 7-Eleven and knowing you're going to have that for your car ride or as you're going throughout the day, that's meal prep. Just prepare yourself to make healthier decisions. Do I have to count my macros? No but I would suggest at least trying it. Macros and counting them is a great way to start realizing where the imbalances on your diet are, how to fix them, and recognizing what foods consist of what. Tracking them isn't what's making healthy, but tracking them will make you aware and it will teach you what a balanced diet looks like. So maybe you wanna try it and then use that as a life skill to go on board so you don't have to be stuck tracking things in the future. Do I have to sleep eight hours? You don't have to, but you will slow down your results dramatically if you're not getting enough sleep. And I get this question all the time about lower belly fat. The number one correlation between that unwanted fat around your belly is stress. Not just stress from your boyfriend or your work, whatever's going on. Stress can also mean under eating, under sleeping, being dehydrated. So if you're not getting your eight hours, at least six to eight hours, you are putting your body under stress. It's not getting enough time to recover. It is exhausted. Over time, when your body is stressed, it will absolutely deter any type of positive results you want for your mental and physical health. Do I have to eat veggies? You have to get veggies and micronutrients and vitamins in your system, but you don't have to eat them. You can take the shed fat greens, for example. You can do some sort of super green mix. You can pour it into a shake. I do it every morning. I do kale, pineapple, apple, and some super green mix from shed fat. You can use a supplement. You don't have to eat veggies. You could juice them. You could shake them, but you somehow have to get that vitamin in there, whether it's from a multivitamin or another source. So do you have to eat veggies? No. Do you have to get what veggies contain to have a healthy, balanced diet? Yes. Last question. Do I have to follow Trophy Body PT and Chef Fat? Yes. If you ever want to get healthy, you need to use the resources around you. We are a free resource to educate, teach you, give you examples. We've got all types of different perspectives, all types of different health professionals. Take what you have around you, use those resources, and create a new environment for yourself. The best way to become healthy is to surround yourself with healthy people, with healthy habits, and healthy information. So with that being said, these are the 15 do I have to's. I hope you learned something from here. If you have some more questions, make sure you subscribe. We'll keep going through these Q and A's. You might find some more in our Q and A section on the YouTube page. Ask questions, put them in the comments below, hit us up in the DMs, find a way to ask us, and we will answer them. That's your do I have to's for the day.